Alright, so what if I want to define the equation of a line? I want to define the equation of a line between two points. What do you need? Um, to make a line in a plane, you need two points, okay? There's one unique line that passes through those two points. Alright, so earlier we had had up a diagram like this. And we know mm, slope is my change in y, y2 minus y1, over my change in x, my change in x, minus x1. If you want to see that, look up slope number one. <clears throat> sure, that's your mm, slope, but wait, there's more. I want to find the equation of that line. Any point on that line will satisfy the equation. Yeah. So in this case, let me make my second point arbitrary. Let's just choose that point to be our fixed point. We know that point's on the line. We want this to be any other point on the line. So I'm going to take all the twos off it, okay? Don't mind me. Why? Because now it's not a fixed point. It's any point. It could have been this one. 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 It could have been, been any point on that line. I pick that one. Okay? Why did I do this? Because I'm trying to find the equation of a line. What did I do? I got rid of my second point. It's not a fixed point anymore. Now it's any equation or any point on this line. But it's still going to satisfy the slope relationship because lines have constant slopes. So from point to point, any point on that line, it's going to follow that thing. So I'm getting rid of my twos over here. All right, fine. Why? Because I want to find the equation of a line. Hmm. I'm going to take this original slope, yeah, and I want to get rid of that denominator. I'm going to multiply both sides by the common denominator. Here it just happens to be x minus x1, yeah, x minus x1. Oh boy, on the right, they fight! Uh, uh. They don't really fight, right? They really because 1 over 1 is 1, 5 over 5 is 1, uh, 10 over 10 is 1, a million over is 1. x minus x1 over x minus x1 is 1, provided the denominator is 0. But then you wouldn't have two points and you wouldn't have a line anyway. Okay, um, cruising right along. So what am I left with? I'm left with, um, using the reflexive property, y minus y1 is m, and commuting that left side, x minus x1. What's that? That's how to find the equation of a line if you have a point and a slope. Conveniently named point slope. Hang on slopey, slopey hang on. That's the point slope form of a line. Um, let's go through and let's find some other forms of a line. Um, what if my initial point was a special point? Yeah, that special point um, here. What's that point called? That's the something intercept. It intercepts something. intersects the y-axis. Yeah, this is my y-axis. So this is the y-intercept. You know y-intercept is a point. Which point? It's, of the, it's a point of the form 0, b. Tee-hee, tee-hee. So what am I doing? In this equation of a line, satisfies that whole slope relationship. We made point slope. Now we're fixing a special point. Let's fix that point. So instead of it being x1, y1. Now I'm going to call my x0 and my y b. So I'm going to replace this guy. y is minus, oh, what's my new y? Oop, b is m x minus, what's my x value? cx is 0 when y is b. So my x is 0. 
Let me go clean that up a little bit. So then y minus b is mx. Can I solve that for y? Sure. I'm gonna go do it. Um, y is mx plus b. Yeah, what is that? That's the slope intercept form of a line. That's the slope intercept form. Yeah, it's famous. It's got a theme song. It goes to the village people, you know, YMCA. The village people, YMCA. Oh, you can't see my legs, can you? Oh well, you'll get it. Um, the village people, YMCA. Yeah, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. Graphing. Dun 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 dun. Graphing. All you need is dun 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 y equals m x plus b he oh that's d isn't it b he whatever